Kath was having a shower. And I've been going for miles because it was a really long shower because I think we're getting water today. <laughs> Yay, and I haven't had my breakfast. Try not to look at yourself. Okay. No. <laughs> look who we found. First of all, we didn't know who he was. He just kept on getting in the way and jumping around and waving. <laughs> but it's actually Ed from Hello, Ed's everybody. World. We told them you were going to be a guest today. Well, we said. Oh, they did you? Yeah, we said they had to guess who the guest was. Oh, okay. And everyone's going to say David. It normally is. Yeah. It normally is David. Yeah. So could you give us your best David impression then? Um, I can't really. I don't do impressions. <laughs> you did. You did that excellent um, April Fool's video, which was awesome. I didn't do David though. I could do everybody else. I can't do him. No. I'll have a, I'll have a think about it, and uh, maybe in another video I'll do an impression <laughs> of David. Who knows? Well, the bit where you can, you can't. You may. The bit where you're not on a boat is your impression of David. At the moment. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably go down a second-hand car dealer or something, <laughs> pick up a, a van or something, and I'll. I'll just drive that around. Anyway. Excellent. So Ed has very kindly offered to lock us down the Atherton flight. So um, we'll be chatting with him throughout the day. What an exciting time that will be for you. <laughs> but uh, I'll go over. Oh, you're going over I'll, I'll go over the far side. I'll, I'll fall in. I noticed that neither of you have one of these. <laughs> right. Do you want? Do you want the? Do you want the girl one or the boy one, Ed? I want the girl one, of course. Uh, Grab the girl one. <laughs> I'll, take the, the, I'll take the little one. That's the boy one. I'll take the little one. It's the boy one. Well, I'll take that, yeah. yeah. I'm quite, honestly, this I'm quite strong. One. So just basically, you've just come for a little walk. I have really. <laughs> <laughs> There's because... lots of volunteers on the first two locks. And Ed said, there's probably no volunteer on the third lock and I can only stay three locks. But then I'm going home. <laughs> it's cold today, I'm not staying it's out cold, in this. It's cold, yeah. Looks like Ed's already done more work than David did when he came to help us. <laughs> Look at him, old man. Get we're that kettle on, come on. We don't want to wear him out. <laughs> He's only got one lock left. So that lock volunteer said to me, is that Ed from Ed's World? He did. He did, he said, I love him. <laughs> Kath, all right. So my first question to you, Ed, being sometimes a solo boater, um, what is the best safety tip? Um, and you can think about it because I can edit out your long pauses. I, th I would honestly say the best safety tip is to not rush and think about what you're doing. Yep, definitely, I agree. Um, not being a solo boater, I, it's similar to yours. I think my tip is um, always keeping an eye on the driver if you're the person doing the lock. Okay, yeah. Because sometimes I can be busy doing something and Kath will be like waving her arms or something and I will have missed something. Hmm. So you kind of rely on each other to stay safe. Yes, no, that would make a lot of sense. Though. Yeah. Kath, 
you want to see something interesting? Yeah, always. Come on, have a look at this. Ooh, that is interesting. Have you always wanted an narrow boat, Ed? No. Uh, many, many years ago, before I was born, my parents had a boat and they kept it at Hawkesbury Junction. And then when I came along, they had to sell it to, because they didn't have the time and the money. Uh, so my dad is very knowledgeable about the canals and the canal network, but um, he's never shown any interest in the canals since then. But now I've got my boat, he has. But growing up, um, I had no interest in canals or boats. I just wanted a motorbike and um, go out dancing up the town or something like that. But as I got older, I wanted to slow down a bit and then I stumbled across boats and they, they were just appealing to me, you know, the relaxing environment, the less hassle and hurry. So what I thought I would do to um, fulfill this relaxing sort of image I would have of life is I would buy an old boat and do it up, spend all my waking yeah. spare time mm, and money. doing boats and money. Yeah, mm. so uh, yeah, it's working it out is. really well for me. Hasn't I hasn't aged you. <laughs> I, I, I sleep really well because I'm so relaxed now. <laughs> Is there any chance I can have a go at crashing your boat? I mean... with me and Ed's driving the boat. Yeah, we don't often get to be at the side of the lock together. No, so what's your top tip for boating? What would be the most, the, an important safety tip? Ed said, slow down, be careful, yeah. take your time. I said, keep your eye on the person driving the boat in case they need help. <laughs> she says with her back to Ed. Um, I think be, it's not really a safety tip, but be cur courteous of others. Aww. So if you can see somebody up in front of you, slow down and drop back so that yeah. you're not on their tail because it's not it's a leisurely journey it's not a speed race and you know be courteous of moored boats and be courteous of people mooring up and you know and just when people are winding just hover back so that you're not getting in their way just that kind of thing i think that's just but it's good it's it's manners yeah, yeah. but also stay clear of the sill that's my safety tip <laughs> He's focused on the seal. You know my friend Alice. Oh, sweetheart. Hello. joined us for the whole day which has been awesome well some of the day has been awesome some of the day Ed has joined us for and that part of the day has been awesome thank you so much to Ed if you want to check out his channel I suggest you do we will leave links in the description below it's pretty interesting he's a pretty interesting guy and very smart so thank you Ed well, you're welcome. I have really enjoyed it. Any time that you need a hand through the locks, Aww. do feel free to give David a call. Yes, come <laughs> on, Ed. Yeah, it is a film up. Never been known for my cautious side. You 
should know that I'm well. Well, I can say one thing doing the locks with Ed was a lot quicker and easier than doing them by myself. I sent Ed home. I was very concerned about taking his whole day. And then I had to do the last couple by myself. Yeah, last four. Uh, I did nothing. You drove the boat. Yeah, I drove. The easy job. So the idea is to get to Tesco tonight. I think it's about four hours cruising away, isn't it? Didn't I tell you that much? I'm going to go check. <laughs> Bumble hole. <laughs> 